what's funny about Tower of Fantasy is the fact that I had no interest in it until I started seeing all these content creators make videos talking about it. And most of the videos were kind of negative. It was like, Tower of Fantasy is heavily pay to win. Tower of Fantasy this, Tower of Fantasy that. Tower of Fantasy has a horrible power creep. Tower of Fantasy level gates. Tower of Fantasy does this. They tried to copy Genshin Impact. They failed and yada, yada, yada. I always heard comparisons between Genshin Impact and Tower of Fantasy. But every single thing that I've heard about Tower of Fantasy was negative. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try this game out. And I'm gonna see for myself whether or not this game is going to be bad or good. While playing Tower of Fantasy on PlayStation 5, I realized that there are major issues with the game. First and foremost, let's talk a little bit about the power creep. So you guys understand that we use black nuclei, red nuclei, and golden nuclei. Well, let me just go ahead and say that these black nuclei and the gold nuclei are basically worthless. I mean, golden nuclei will help you get the older SSR weapons. This is where the problem comes in. The older SSR weapons do far less DPS than the newer weapons that they have available. So if you're playing Domain 9 and you're up to like 3.2 or whatever they are right now for um, Domain 9, you want to have the newer weapons. And a lot of YouTubers or content creators, streamers that have a backing, that have people sending them free cash can afford to pull for these characters. I did the math and the math came up to $380 to $400 US dollars to get a new banner character. This is if you don't have any red nuclei you need red nuclei the older weapons that you get from golden nuclei or black nuclei are garbage they are severely power crept they are not on the same level as the newer weapons you can even five star these older weapons and they still wouldn't do enough dps you can awaken the simulacrums for the older weapons it still wouldn't do shit for you that's how weak the older weapons are that is a severe issue with tower of fantasy and it needs to be addressed or people will just start playing the game find that out and then quit let's talk about the fact that they level gate you yes you heard that correct they will let you get a certain amount of levels a day and then after that they'll lock you out from leveling up for maybe a couple of days I've been trying to get to level 70 for like the past couple of weeks now and I'm just now on level 69. They level cap you. They make it so that you can't get any more levels. Their excuse for this is to make sure that you explore the game or play the game. That's their excuse for it. Are you fucking serious? Why would you make your players suffer like that? What's wrong with reaching max level? Like it's already hard enough to get your CS up to higher numbers as it is in the game since they want to basically only give you 360 vitality yes they have stamina in the game you know it's a gotcha game so they have stamina they have a stamina system you only get 360 and that replenishes as you're not logged on so there's that the game has so many issues so many pressing issues it is not cheap by no means you have to have money you have to have sponsors a backing patreon only fans porn hub account i don't care what you do you might have to sell <laughs> whatever it is to pay for the expenses of tower of fantasy and that's the truth about tower of fantasy every negative thing that you've heard about tower of fantasy is absolutely true the only good thing that they have going for them is the gotcha system because it's more lenient 120 pools will guarantee you a ssr character that you want and that's about it I've seen plenty of content creators talk about is Tower of Fantasy worth playing in 2023 going into 2024. Matter of fact, one of the YouTubers that I follow recently released his video talking about Tower of Fantasy in 2023 and talked about his future and how the game's had so many goddamn problems, but they seem to be consecutive or well, rather they seem to be adding content to the game and going forward even though the game was half developed anyways yeah go look it up the game was not finished being developed that's why it failed that's why it's known as the failed genshin clone and that's the honest to god truth genshin impact is worlds apart from tower of fantasy tower of fantasy is a failed genshin clone that never had a chance i mean they tried to copy the elemental system and failed at doing that the game is just horrible when it comes to power creeping weapons 
level gating its player base it's pretty goddamn bad the only thing they got right was the gotcha system and that's pretty much it that's the only thing they have over genshin impact and that's not enough to beat genshin impact while i sit here and make the genshin impact stands happy I'll say that the game is pretty good for wasting time, and that's my honest opinion. I don't think the game is worth playing, seriously. I just think it's good to log on, do some activities, log off, and that's pretty much it. When it comes to spending money on the game, that's up to you, because it's your wallet. You're gonna spend it on whatever the f you wanna spend it on, so that's literally something that I can't speak on. I mean, there's people who spend thousands of dollars on the game, and I said it in the last part that there are people who have backing, they have big bank accounts because they're financially secure or they have Patreon or they have some sort of support from some people giving them free cash to spend on a fucking gotcha game. There's people who've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on gotcha games because they love it so much. So it's to each their own. So is it worth playing? You have to figure that out on your own as a player. But that's gonna be it for me, guys. It's your boy Legacy.